Hey, Divi Nation, thanks for dropping by our documentation to learn all about Divi's customizer settings for button styles. So if you've ever used our button module, you know just how powerful uh, well-designed buttons can be on your Divi website, but you've also probably thought, man, I wish all of these buttons just looked the same uh, right off the bat um, and fit in with my design with very minimal customization. Well, one of the ways to achieve that is by setting up some styles in the theme customizer settings so that your kind of default buttons all look exactly the same. Here's how to do it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to adjust Divi's button styles from within the theme customizer. Adjusting your button styles from the theme customizer allows you to make changes on a global scale to all of your buttons on your entire website. And so the default state of your buttons um, will be set so that whenever you add a new button to your site using the Divi Builder, the button styles will remain consistent. To change your button styles, go to your theme customizer from the back end of your WordPress dashboard. You can find it in the sidebar here under Divi Theme Customizer. And once you click on that, you locate the buttons options from within your theme customizer panel here. Click on it and you'll see that you have two options. The first button style option here refers to the state of your button as it is when it first loads on the page um, without you hovering over it. The second style refers to the hover state of your button. Whenever you hover over your button there, you can see how the hover state changes. Let's first look at our button styles. Here you can change the text size of your buttons. This not only changes the size of the text, but actually the size of the button as well. So this is a very convenient way to just adjust the size of all your buttons in one spot. The text color option allows you to set a default color for all of your buttons. Now, before you do this, bear in mind that by default, your theme is going to have a light version of your button, which is essentially white and also a dark version of your button, which is going to take on the color of your accent color that you set in your general settings of the, of the theme customizer. So if you wanted to keep this functionality, you wouldn't want to change the text color here. You would want to go back to your general settings under layout settings and adjust your theme accent color. So by adjusting this color, you will uh, be adjusting this um, button color as well. Just to show you what I'm talking about, I'm going to go over and edit my slider here, which is deploying a light version of my button. If I go in and I'm going to edit the settings of this individual slide, let's go to the design tab. You see this text option right here. You'll see this on your modules. It, it allows you to toggle a light or a dark version of your text. And this applies to all the text in general if you leave it to its default, but it also applies to your button text. So if I toggle it to dark, you'll see that my button has now taken on my accent color because that is the dark version of my button. And toggling it light will then change it back to the light version exit out here I can show you the same is here if I just this is a general button module if I go to my design tab you'll see under the text option here for text color I have selected dark but if I were to change it to light it would automatically turn to that light version of my button now going back to my customizer settings if I change this color uh, from my default, as soon as I make that change, I lose that functionality. So just bear that in mind. So let's say I change this one to red. Now I have uh, red buttons for both my dark and light versions. So it will override that functionality. But that's okay because I can easily go and make that change on a case-by-case -case basis using my Divi Builder. Let's go on. Um, I could change the background color of my button here. So maybe I don't like the uh, kind of see-through background here. Uh, 
And let's say I still want a red button though. Uh, in order to do that, I'll just go in here, change my button to red, background button to red. And then I'll increase this alpha transparency so you can actually see it. And then I'm gonna have to go back to my text color here and I'm gonna change that to white. So there you go. And let's say my border width right now it's a two, uh, but I can easily change that. Let's go ahead and um, increase it maybe to a three. And let's go ahead and match my border color with this color that I have here, the red. So I'm gonna match my border color. It's a good way to kind of keep your color of your button consistent on both your border and the background and also keep your border radius, which is the next option here. So if I wanted to increase it, give it kind of like a half circle on each end, I can do that. And the border radius is what controls each corner um, of my button and it gives it a curve on each corner and I can set it to whatever um, value I want here. Letter spacing. If I wanted to add some letter spacing to my button, um, I can also increase the font style to maybe bold or something like that. I can also change my button font. Uh, change the default to take on this specific font that I want. We have, uh, you know, hundreds of fonts to choose from. The add button icon um, is default is to say, the default is set to yes. And so what that does is show that little uh, right arrow here on the right of my text within my button. And currently it's set to only show on hover, but we can change that. So if I go down here where it says uh, only show icon on hover, if I say no, then it will auto always show on my button there. Toggle it back to yes. If I don't like that icon, I could change it to something else. Um, maybe I want that arrow there, or maybe I want, you know, something even more creative, like a light bulb. I could change the icon color. Maybe I want to, you know, keep the red, but make it a little darker. I could do that. Maybe a different shade. Let's go back to the default. And um, the icon placement can be changed from the default right side to the left if I wanted to. And as you can see, this is being applied to all of my buttons on my website. If that is, it is set to its default state. I could of course override this with, my, with any of my button modules or slider modules by customizing the button styles from within that module. And there's your overview of the button styles in the theme customizer.